Now then, how's it hanging? Come out for an overnighter, so not going fishing, going shooting, as you can probably tell by the title. So uh, I've come to a permission, uh, and it's going to be an overnighter with a little bit of shooting. Right, first thing, still daylight. I'm not going to go for the rats till after dark. I'm going to go and set up in my little hide, put a few peanuts out, see if we can get the old pesky grey squirrel. And if we do, we'll stick him on the stove and get him fried up for a bit of frank boff. Yeah, it's like chicken. In the meantime, we'll get my gun filled up. Old food. seals are starting to go on this so they might need changing as you can tell it does the job There we go, 200 bar. That's a squirrel stopper. Mega 1422. There you go, safety on. Right, homemade scope cam. Stick that on the uh, on the scope, so you can see what happens to a squirrel when it gets a two-two from an HW100 banging in its skull. Right, so I've got my little resi pouch. I can undo that with one hand. It's just a few, few nuts and seed just to tempt them in I've been putting that out so they should be uh, used to that little free source of food up there and they keep coming back as I say I've had a few from up there this time I'm going to film it so when we got to film it the usual will probably happen that none will turn up yeah and I'll have to have bacon buses for my dinner right get my little seat a nice little homemade Comfy bum seat, waterproof. I can even take the foam out and give that a wash if I want. It's got a bit of character now with a bit of muck, filth, and shit on it, hasn't it? Right, so one time chair, seat, comfy bum, some nuts, and that turns into the game bag. So I'll empty the nuts out, yeah. And when we marmalise the squirrels, we can put them in that bag, bring them back. Happy days. Right, let's go and get in the hive. Right, that's where I've been feeding. The hide's over there. I'm going to move this one slightly because there's a tree right in the way. Oh, loads of brandlings. Good for fishing. One. Yeah, I'm getting caught in the trees here. Been poked in the eye. They've eaten down there. That was a little bowl. That was. And I put all the seed in there. Not fucking squirrel McGuff. I've been munching. Give them something to spot from above. Right. I 
and there's my bag. Let's put my squirrels in. Or my pigeons. Depending what lands. Or climbs down. Or scuttles about. If it's a pest, it gets shot. If it's not, it doesn't. And there's my little hide. And my little pokey through holes. I think the wind's destroyed it, so I'm going to have to make some uh, renovations. In we go. Now it's the old hurry up and wait, isn't it? I can see just through there. Oh, there you fucker. Right. Oh yes, the wind's had a bit of a go at this. So, I'll just make my little renovations and be back safe. Two shakes of a donkey's penis. Right. Couple of holes to spy through and shoot through. That's just sitting wait. Right, so stuck my phone in there. It's half eleven. And that'll go on the uh, that'll go on the scope. And hopefully we'll get some shots in. That's on. Zero shot. Right. Wait for all squirrel interrupts us. So it hadn't took long for the songbirds to find it. They'll be all over it. And then... Hopefully Mr. Squirrel will make an appearance. Or Mrs. Squirrel. Either way. If the grey. Yep, we'll get shot. Right, so I've been here about half an hour. No, it's turned up yet. Well, apart from the songworks, been plenty of them. But the grey menace hasn't turned up. But he will. Eventually. So, I've seen loads of birds. Great tits, blue tits, long tailed tits, nuthatch, robin, woodpecker, chaffinch, goldfinch. Yeah, I've not seen no big tits though. Or bouncy tits. Well, that angler down there looks like he's got a set of moves on him. But no grey menace. There's a great tit. And there's a nut hatch on the stump. Yes, definitely waiting game. Look, there's a long tail tit right in the tree there. And they're off. Right, I'll give it another half an hour here, then I'll go for a bit of a mooch, go for a bimble. It's uh, it's very quiet. Give them squirrels a bit of time to find that again. Because I put that feed out last week, obviously it's been demolished by the time I got back, so they probably think there's none left here. But, saying that, I have thinned them out here over the last couple of weeks. Yeah, I've had quite a few. Right, go for a bit of a mooch. Might have half an hour here. A load of rabbit warrens in that bank in there. Not that they'll make an appearance this time of the day. But something might pass. Couple of mallard. First of February. Today, out of season. Happy Brexit day. 
<laughs> right. Let's have a pure air for half an hour. Oh. Two rabbits just come out of that warren. Right, this looks promising. bounced off that banking oh there he is that's dead that's just its nerves packing up There you go, son. Right. <laughs> I'll have another half hour. Looks like them rabbits are coming out. Yeah. Two came out and then that one came out, which that's still. Boom. Gone. I mean, doing a bit of pop down the banking. Yeah, it's gone quiet there now. <coughs> Let's have a move. I think it's time for the brew kids. He don't look healthy, does he? Well, this has seen better days and all. Right, so the old licks are the stove. Yeah, this one can be used as a wood stove or the old spirit burner, the old trangia. So we're going to go with the old spirit stove now, so we're putting that bit in. Oh, 
when you can build it properly. Again, cracking little one, the one that's got the hinge on it. It doesn't fall to bits when you pick it up, like the other ones. Lighter. Some petroleum jelly cotton wool on the old stove. Mm. Oh, that's tight, but it's sealed. Fits in there. A little bit of a this is going to go everywhere now. I told you. How do, Pat? How do you? Fucking hell. This guy's your postal address. Sue, are you having a box on? Get oh, it. I'm living here, mate. Yeah. <laughs> right. Where am I going? Turn that round. Where's the fun part lighting this? I'll see it during the day, you can't see if it's lit or not, you have to hold your hand over the top. It's certainly not lit. That's lit now. Super. Right. Oh, bit of rabbit blood. Titanium pot, 750 mil. Cracking better kit this. Little bale on it, couple of handles, on we go. Brew time. Let's just gash this away for now. Right, it's a bit windy. There we go, job's a good one. Kettle's on. Right. Gotta brew kit. And my lassie spoon. a bit more. Keep me awake for those rats. Bit of sugar and a bit of acabilk. Or coffee mate. I'm having three of them. Goes down quick that one. Right. So that's squirrel shooting. Got to sit and wait now. Cheesy biscuits. Get in there. Look where Professor Kettle's boiling. Happy days. I've not got my uh, 
my adapter for the tripod. So I'm afraid kids, this is all going to be filmed off the top of my head or other places without a tripod. Brutan. Right. That's me basher in my old Shakespeare Cypriness bag. Happy days. Right, let's get it up. Bit wet that from last week. Forgot to take it out and dry it out. Right, got some improvised basher poles here. Improvised adapt and overcome. I'm not paying 10 quid for the basher pole when I can get four for 16. So basically, 50 to 90 centimetre aluminium bank sticks and stainless steel rod rest heads. Just the ticket, kids. Some guy ropes, guy lines. Not banana. There's all the other stuff blown away. Yeah, there it is. I'll right, leave it down there for now. Thought he'd gone diffy. Right, let's put this up. It's... There's one. Nice and light as well. There's two. I'll peg that down in a minute. Three. Four. It's getting there. It needs to be raised up a bit. That window's right off. And this one, just hook that over the loop. Pull the middle with a bungee there. So that top loop's got a bungee on. And a guy rope. Happy days. Right, just sort them uh, bank sticks out now. <laughs> oh, my knobs fell out. Can't have my knob falling out, can we, kids? Go. Job's a good one. So 
what went ping then. What was it went ping? Right, get them vertical. Can't not have them vertical with OCD. It just wouldn't be right, would it? There you go. Right, tip six and handy hint. Me sleep mat. Don't throw away your bed chairs. Why not? Because you can make one into a sleep mat. So I save all my crap. So there's my waterproof bit. There we go. And then tips, tricks and handy hints. Or love spuds or bollocks. A very old Fox Ultra. Yeah. Take off the beds, yeah. You can even keep the bits to make all sorts of other goodies if it breaks. Because back in the day, when there was shit bed chairs, it used to break all the time. There we go. There's me, yeah. Uh, right said Fred for tonight. Right. One last mooch before last light. And then, uh, get me dinner on the go, I think. Let's have a sit here again. So I'll have, a, I'll have half an hour. And it's time to get old rabbits interrupters in the pan. Hopefully, a couple of his mates will be joining him if we have any luck. A couple of woodies. Get down. He's stuck in the tree. Come on. There you go. Now I can have pigeon breast snowing. Right. Time to get my dinner sorted. But I'm not going to film this. Because YouTube will probably fucking ban me. Right, so I'm going to get that done. I'm going to get it all prepared, ready for the frying pan. Maybe in another video. Before we do start. More robust. What a brilliant knife that is. And they're about a tenner. Talk about quality. At a nice price. Yep. And I've sharpened it. Right, so I'll make tidy work of Mr. Uh, Mr. Bunny Rabbit but first. I should have done this before. Uh, squeeze the piss out of it. Plus he taints the meat. There you go. Happy days. Yeah. Right. See in a bit, kids, when he's finished. Right, nearly done. Just need to take his guts out now. Give him a quick bath. Yeah, portion them up, take it off the bone, ready for the frying pan. There we go. Nice rabbit for the pot. And a couple of kidneys. Happy days. Typical starting to rain now, so we've got a couple of legs, a couple of loins. Whoa, good stuff that, and a couple of shoulders. So I'm going to take this off the bone uh, and can't wait for the rain. And I've got a bit of a bit of skin and offal and shite here for the, for the rats. Put that out tonight for them. And uh, Put a brick or two on top of it so they can't grab it and leg it. 
and then we'll put some ventilation holes in the head but in the meantime get that off the bone yeah and then I've got something to fry what shall I have with it bit of Bill Cosby spicy Mexican rice I think top bomber oh that's another mortar knife that's for skinning that the other ones for the uh, the bone work right yeah. them two legs deboned yeah it's getting a bit dark now because it was gassing to one of the anglers for about half an hour there so sun has virtually gone down right better get this uh, cooked before the fucking heavens start opening right that's what the light on now so we've got a bit of cotton wool here with a bit of Vaseline in and a nice little mint in Vaseline, petroleum jelly, same thing some coffee stirrers, I'll get it going and a ferro rod right so and the light goes out there we go, keeps going on and off so you'll have to grin and bear that kids I might need another go. Again, I put it on a couple of bricks here just to save uh, the nice bit of sandstone. Tip streaks and handy ends. Oh, it's all gone out again. the old vitamins, the old, what we call them, dissolvable jobbies. Right, better get some of my wood out, am I? that to start with I need the smaller pieces to get it going there we go right we're in business right back in a minute kids oh. bit of oil Let's hope it doesn't honk it down. Coming useful though, don't they, from Costa? For lighting fires. <laughs> Tip six. Andy loves buds. That's the, th the legs. Get a bit of pepper on that. Quid. Ah, the light's got out. Yeah. 
There's my pepper. A little bit of pepper mix. We're on a winner. We'll get them uh, get them loins in as well. Oh, more like pepper now. Need a replan. There's enough meat there, minus the uh, rice. Looks out of wood still. Couple of kidneys there. Treats and nibbles. Right, just gonna there. Uh, Butterfly these basically now, so we'll make sure they're cooked all the way through so it's nice and cooked in the middle. Don't want to be going home with a galloping swamp fever. Do we, Neil? No, do we fuck? We don't want to be going home with galloping swamp <laughs> fever, do we, Neil? <laughs> How you doing, mate? I'm all right, I'm sure all oh, they look fit. All right, the man, eh? Yeah, yeah. Do you want one? No, I'm good for my tea now. What are you having a kebab? No, I'm on fish tonight. Oh, he's on fish? Yeah, yeah. What are you having, perch or pike? No, I'm on a haddock. Oh, haddock? Yeah, Where'd yeah. you get that in the canal? <laughs> <laughs> you bridge you. Happy you day. Happy days, man. Oh, they look fit, man. I've got a couple of legs. Oh. And... Yeah. Look at all that wild food, mate. Uh, Chemical right. free. Well, I'll bring my webbly with me. Your webbly? Yeah, and we'll have a bit of a dabble. We'll, we'll have a barbecue, mate. Yeah. How's that grab that. you? Yeah. Maybe have a couple of rods out at the same time. It'd be rude not to. Obviously. Right, I'll <laughs> catch you later, Mucker. All right, mate. Yeah. See, See you later. Soon. Have a good one, Neil. Bye. Catch you next time, mate. Ta right, mate. Right, so you can get it. Let's put that light on. There we go. Butterflied rabbit's legs back in the desperate dam. Got banana. Reckon that's done now. Not like putting a bit of rabbit on a dirty plate. And a couple of nibbles. Good old kidneys. Happy days. Right, I think I'll get them uh, get them shoulders in now. Wind's getting up a bit. And I need to change the uh, battery in the camera. Well, let's have a taste. That's bang tidy. Mmm. You can have another piece. Oh, that's nice. Free food. Can't beat it. Let's have a bit of that leg. Mmm. Nom nom. Nom 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 nom. 
that barbecued steak. Mm. That'll do me for scoff tonight. Ah, oh, the light's gone out. Right, get this scuffed, uh, and I'll have to do a bit of admin, bit of a bit of a tidy up, do a few dishes, and then uh, get set up for the old rat shoot. Right, time to set the night vision gear up. Camera, IR torch, battery pack, battery pack, yeah, and a few other goodies, and the uh, LCD screen. Right, I'll get this knocked up. Get it on the rifle and let's see if it works. Well, it does work, but I'm saying, does it work with the camera? Video recording it, so to speak. Oh, well, soon find right, out. I don't know how well you can see that. I'll turn this light off and my head torch. We'll see how it goes. It's all souped up now, ready to rock and roll. Just need to wait for the rats. Happy day. See you in a minute, kids. I've got it on my head now. Safety's on. I'm gonna put out there a bit of rabbit and uh, some liquidized cat food and tuna. I should get him in again, start now, but might have to wait a while till he actually come out. But in the meantime, hurry up and wait. Right, they might not come out till later on, so I think I'll have a bit of a granddad nap. As you do, uh, drop the position. Uh, oh, there we go. Oh. Take my gigaroonies off as well. Don't need them now because I'm not driving. Uh, Grandad nap. Uh, nom nom nom. Right. This one just come out. Where is he? That's the illuminated reticle, it's a little red on its lowest setting. But I've just seen one scuttle across there then. Their eyes light up. Dead giveaway. Where are you? Where are you? Took about 15 minutes, if that. There's plenty of smelly bait for them to home in on. Their eyesight's shite, but their nose isn't. Where's he at? He'll be back. See the screen for the bleeding camera now. Come on, back out. Where is he? Pissed off back into the bushes. He'll be back. There he is. Dead rat. Dead rat. He's not doing no dancing. Bit of helicopter tail there. Oh, there he goes. He started dancing now. Where's he gone? Back in bushes. He's dead. He's gone back in bushes. Bit of a dancer. Right. Let's 
Verbesserung der M. Dann ist sie einfach mal auch. There he is. Hiding. Look at them bastard trees. Rattus interruptus is pool. Have a brew. Brew not to. Kill's boiling. The trick is now putting that out. So I've got my little dowser, but you can't get in to put it out. And you can't pick that up because it burns your hands. So how do you get that cross section off? <sighs> With a spoon. Tips, tricks. And Andy bollocks. Even stir coffee with your spoon as well. <laughs> so Bobber. Right, let's shoot some rats. Been a good hour now, no else has come out actually. Which is surprising. There's a feast on the floor there for them. Probably the middle of the night when I'm having a kick. So get up in the morning it'll all be gone. I shit you not. What time is it? Oh. It's ten to midnight and it's not exactly been the rat bonanza I thought it might have been. But again it's midnight now. I've had one rat, I've gone through three torch batteries, I've had three pisses. I know I don't know another one, so I'm going to have a man slash. And then I'm going to get some quality nut down and keep clicking that on and off in the night just to see if they turn up. If they do, we'll put some ventilation holes in their heads. Right. Oh, I'm going to pee me pants. Right. Set me alarm for six o'clock. Before the sun comes up, see if they're mooching about then. Because as it stands, they're not coming out to play. Bah humbug. Oh well, I can get some kip. Getting a bit wet round here. <laughs> it's half past three in the morning. It's fucking anchoring it down. Look at it, it's a fucking swamp. I'm living in a swamp. <laughs> I dragged everything into my DOS bag. Raise it up off the floor. 
it's absolutely bucketing it down. My gears in my sleeping bag, keeping dry. I'm all right. Everything else is piss wet through. Right, it's half three. Uh -oh. I'm going back to sleep. That's bright. Night, night. Again. Oh, that's kicking about. It's quarter past four. I'm gonna have a broke. Keep the lighter in my pocket. funky around here isn't it? <laughs> it's not the first time I've slept in an inch of water it probably won't be the last right. need some water for me bro I didn't get much there, did I? It's a bit funky that. <sighs> Not like a brute to boost one's morale. Rats are out either. Don't want to get wet, do they? There's no happening out there. Not even the rats are coming out in this weather. I'm going to have another granddad nap till the sun comes up. Night night, sleep tight, don't let the bed bugs bite or anything else that runs around out here because I've heard them. Time to get up. Sheep said, just been over to have a look at the feeder, magpies and squirrels, might have been a better look today for the old grey menace, you never know, might get a maggie as well, oh well, a little bit still dry, <laughs> right, let's go for a bag of squirrel, right, it's fucking swamped here now, so the squirrels have been in this morning and magpies have been flapping about all the songbirds are up there I'll put some more seed down 
some more nuts and then I'll get in my little idea hole I'll get the uh, scope cam on I've not got much battery left to be honest but we'll see how it goes Yeah, that's been nailed since yesterday. Oh, mushrooms. Get my mushroom book out, have a look at them. See if we can scrand them. Right, let's go and put some seeds out. piles yesterday weren't they? That's had a good hammer in. All the nuts have gone that's for sure. They don't like the wheat, they always leave the wheat till last. Look, everything else goes by the wheat. It's usually pheasants that polish that off. Yeah, just the wheat left. Everything else gone. But when there's nothing else left, I'll eat that as well. Bait bag. Now it's a game bag. Right, let's get it, get it set up and hopefully let's get Cyril the squirrel. Let's ruin his day. Scope lens keeps been steaming up. So the scope cam's not working very well. It's just focusing on the steam on the on the lens. I'll let it dry out a bit because it's been out all night. But we'll see how it goes. I'll just let it dry out a bit and then have another go. Right, it's dead here and the weather's pants. So I think I'll knock it on the head. Right. <sighs> Plenty of songbirds gonna have a good feast. But squirrels ain't turned up. I'm off. <laughs> <laughs>